God damn cats. Look at these guys. <sighs> the bane of existence, right? Cats. You think this is a cryptocurrency channel? Not at all. It's a cat channel. Everything you love. Your favorite thing? He's gonna take it and he's gonna piss on it because he's a cat. The stresses of cats. That's what we're talking about today. Not really. <laughs> this is Shit Coins of the Week. Richie Crypto Mischief here, where I talk about my favorite thing in the entire world. God damn cryptocurrency. That's right. I got my spinny chair back. The weather has finally cut. The temperature is cooling. Finally, I can get back up to this loft inside of the studio. And well, my makeshift studio is not nothing amazing. I mean, it's, it's a long river <laughs> corridor, basically, but it's away from everything else. And we can continue with what we're doing. Daily degeneracy, weaponized degeneracy for the crypto age, where I try to find the best projects around, how to get gains from them. And today we're going to be doing just that. We have a couple things to check out. I'm going to be giving, I'm dropping a bombshell today, actually, an absolute bombshell on my own debt. Um, something that's been going on in the back end that I haven't told anyone about. It's been a little bit of a secret that I've been working on. It's ready and I've already deployed some of it and you're going to see exactly what that is. Then we're going to have a look at the new Animal Farm user interface, the fourth one. <laughs> we had the first one, Manor Farm, Animal Farm, new Animal Farm. Yeah, the fourth iteration of the UI. Uh, have a little look at that and give, give an honest review on it. Uh, there's a competition on there too that I'll introduce you to. You can win $5,000. Fantastic. And then we are going to look at actually two projects which I think are the best places for farming right now for stable coins or for any blue chip coins. But they are the best. Uh, they just hands down, that's where your money should be. Not financial, not financial advice. Pardon me. By the way, none of this is. This is shit coins of the week where I give my take on the week in crypto. And basically, you should take everything with a pinch of salt, of course. It's not advice for you. It's just what I'm doing, exactly what I'm doing. And I'm going to show you numbers to show that what I do is actually right. Because <laughs> I make a lot of money, as we're going to see very soon too. Uh, and then we're going to end today's video with a quick, brief take on Furio and what happened and why I'm not happy about it. But I'm going to do a whole video on that pretty soon, which is probably going to make some people unhappy, mainly Furio. Right, and we do have Drip Roulette at the end. If you're on Drip Team 2, then enjoy that. So let's get into the, today's video about everything that's going to be happening in the video. It's a really weird to say, weird way to say it. Let's go! <laughs> so here we are, the Mischief Airdrop Miner, the man, okay? We've now been launched for about 10 days. We have 120 participants in it, which is great. And did you know, right, first thing we're going to talk about, anyone who went into the MAM, early on the whitelist, you got to have one hour early to get into this, right? Almost everyone who went early in on the whitelist has ROI, return on their investment. Now that was through the power of my NFT. We now have uh, three, 257 owners of this NFT, which is great. About 80 of the owners of the NFT went into the MAM on the whitelist at that hour. Every one of you who went in now, you have ROI, right? And the TVL has remained at around about $30,000 the entire time. How, right? It's 80 in on the whitelist, 120 total. There's only 40 more people in the miner, but that means everyone who went in on the whitelist is already ROI'd, and the people who are already in right now are getting close to it because the TVL is staying the same. Some people are getting 57% a day on their stake at the moment. 57%, it's supposed to be 3% daily, right? How the hell are people getting 57% on this? Well, let me tell you, uh, what I did is I have completely changed the game. Um, the general way that a miner, like let's go to one of the most famous miners ever, right? Right, Miner Fever came before last time with this one called Bake Beans. Um, I think I have a stake in this uh, somewhere. It's not the biggest stake it was, um, but you know, Bake Beans at the moment has 300 BNB in the contract, 357. It was up at like 8,000 BNB. Um, I have today 0 0.019 BNB to collect as pennies, whatever. Um, it's gas money, basically. We come to the contract, though. This is the interesting thing. I chose BNB because it's the easiest one to kind of analyze quickly, okay? So we can come into BSC scan. Uh, we did this before when I told you not to go into Big Beans because it was going to wreck you. Hopefully, you followed my advice when we went and we saw this, right? 
Yes, this. This is what I was telling you not to go in, right? Because this is what we generally see with miners. This was actually the second time that's done this. It's done it before, but on a smaller scale. Yeah, here was the last time as well, where it was 42 BNB, and we saw the same thing, right? A launch, then boom, yeah, and then uh, all the way down. And that's what happens in miners. But how have I managed for 10 days to keep the, the TVL exactly the same? Because that's all I want to do, right? I want to try and maintain the TVL completely the same for as long as possible. Then I want to get, uh, of course, we're going to get a big pump coming at some point when uh, the masses find out about it, or masses are convinced that this is actually an awesome project. And then we'll have a massive pump and we will have a decline after that. We cannot keep it up forever. Nothing can stay up forever, right? But it will be maintained through some clever ways, which I've been doing right. <laughs> yeah. And then finally, when that starts to decline, then we'll have our second wave, right? Just like the BNB miner continues to have. Not baked beans, BNB miner. BNB miner offers 3% a day. And if we come and look at its contract, I want to be like these guys, right? So they actually, if you come to the earliest points of this contract, 31... That BNB, right? 30 BNB, 50 BNB, 40 BNB, right? That was four from March until September, right? So that's half a year, right? Don't sitting maintaining that low BNB balance, meaning everyone that's in there slowly like mining away on their ROI DAP, just having a great old time. They're all making their ROI, their return on their investment. And that's what's happening right now with the, the MAM, right? People in here are just making money. They're making bank, right? We can look at some of these videos, right? I will look at them soon. There is proof that people have made amazing profit on it so far. It's great to see. It makes me really happy. Uh, so, you know, I prefer this. Look, BNB Miner had the big run up, the decline, the big run up. Then the, the decline's happening right now. They'll have another big run up because it's 3% daily. As long as they keep up the advertising, as long as they keep onboarding new people into their miner, and as long as people behave in the right way, um, then they will get that third wave. And that's great. It's fantastic. I love this project. What do I have today? Yeah, almost 0.1 BNB. I'll oh, just compound again. I'm compounding it in the while, while we're low, I'm just compounding, waiting, getting more of the, the market share. So in terms of its health, super healthy. I really want to improve the uh, visually how healthy this is. So I will be contacting June Ad Analytics so that we'll be able to get a, a full uh, analytics site a la... Yeah, this is June Analytics here. Uh, for example, here's the Furio one. We're going to be looking at this later, right? Where you can get full analytics on everything that's happening with the uh, man miner. So I will be uh, commissioning this to be created uh, very soon. I just need to get around to a couple other things first, right? So that's what's going on, right? It's great. Early NFT investors have pretty much got their return on their investment. They're in money right now. People who've come after that are slowly getting there too. So if you are in the MAM and you are having a great time and you're making bank, right? Or if you're getting close to your ROI, please let everyone else in the world know because the only way that we can continue to make this successful is by, of course, onboarding new investment. By onboarding new investment, then you can get yourself at the moment 8%, yeah, referral, but soon you will quiet cats stop fighting with each other. Sorry, false alarm. <laughs> <laughs> but you will get yourself 8% uh, of whatever that person's put in if they use your referral link, but soon they will get 16% when we do launch the lottery. The lottery is launching on the 1st of October, so we have one more week until the shitcoin lottery is going. At the moment, we do have the shitcoin sniper, pa, 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 where whoever puts in deposits the most top five top deposits will get themselves more shitcoins, right? Shitcoins are miners, right? Working very well. Proof, okay, I'm running a competition at the moment, $500 to the best YouTube video about the MAM, right? All you have to do is put hashtag MAM into the description so I can find it. As you see here, I put in MAM miner, right? I've had about 10 uh, so far. An amazing song made by one guy. That was fantastic. Or, <laughs> or girl. Loved it. I'm going to send them some drip. I contacted them yesterday, actually. Uh, like, for example, we have a look here at this Chinese review, right? Um, there's only one thing I want to show you here, right? It's in Chinese. I don't know if you talk Chinese or not. Um, but 300 deposited in. It's in Chinese, but I'll tell you, right? 300 deposited in. Yeah. Just claimed and he's claimed out 705, right? He was an NFT holder, he went in, I guess he got in one of the first couple uh, entries into this. He's got 17,000 miners. He's got 17,000 miners, not more than me though. <laughs> and he's got himself out 705. So he's in the money. He's made perfectly a lot of money off of this. Of course, he's an influencer, but he hasn't managed to influence anyone yet. Come on, man, you can do better than that. You've made money. Influence, right? Do your job. <laughs> but that was before he put out this video, so you can check that here. And, you know, like these things, put in man miner, find the videos, comment in the videos, churn the algorithm, get it around. 
put in here also we have uh, videos from uh, Shrine Crypto, one of my favorite YouTubers there. We have Crypto Craig, we had one from F Crypto Phil, we have one here from Zamba Cashflow all in one. So these uh, community members and just all around awesome guys, here there's Crypto Phil here, uh, they're all doing their part to you know promote something that they've put their hard earned money into too and that's how we, we that's how we pump a miner right other things uh, just quickly i do have a medium for the mem and i've been putting up stories i'm going to be putting up a story on the breaking news i'm going to be telling you very soon right as in next two pages later i'll tell you exactly what i'm doing i'll be making a new article on that uh, so please get into the medium give me some claps yeah I've had 600 views so far on the article I put out but only three responses and 12 new fans terrible I know awful <laughs> but uh, other good news I have applied to dat radar to put the mischief airdrop miner into dat radar too so you can see some stats there so that's all good all great there now what have I been doing right what I've been doing is I was playing around with the idea of the MAM and how I could keep the BUSD balance high without touching the total value locked, right? So the total value is here. If we click on the contract, come here and make links and then contract, we're going to see the BSC scan here and we do have 30 grand in here, right? I don't want to touch that money. Um, this is the miner's money. And of course, I will never touch it, never even think about touching it. We do have the treasury wallet, which I buy drip with, um, but we're not touching this. So I was thinking, how? What is a way to utilize the funds that are inside the miner without actually touching the miner? And then it dawned on me. The genius. I'm not saying a genius, but this is great. Mirror liquidity pool. Mirror LP. So I don't know if you know it or not, but I've made a lot of money from crypto. You know, I'm rich, basically, from crypto. It's awesome. My name's Richie. I've got loads of crypto. Um, I have a lot of tokens lying around. Like I was talking to Weibo. I said they're under the sofa. <laughs> I don't use them for much. Um, I put them into some platforms. I yield farm with them. But they are just HODL tokens that I hold for when the bull market returns and then I can get the value out of them, right? I don't trade them. They just sit there because I'm a degen. That's what I do. Um, <laughs> so... I also have the funds from the NFT sales, which I showed you there, where we have hundreds of NFTs that have been sold. And I haven't done anything with that yet either, until now. So this is what a mirror LP is. I take the TVL of the miner, about 30,000 at the moment. I reflect that with my own funds into my favorite crypto staking platforms, right? With my money, not the miner's money. I then take the interest, that I'm earning from that, the yield I'm earning from the staking, and I inject it back into the miner. Because really, I already make loads of money from other kinds of ways, right? I have restaurants, I have businesses, I have drip, loads of drip accounts, I have lots of different passive income printers, which I use daily and I earn lots of money anyway, right? And <laughs> I don't need this extra stuff, but I know that a lot of you guys are in a terrible bear market and I'm offering you a product which I can, in a way, help support for longer. I'm not saying it's going to last forever. This is high risk, high return crypto. It is essentially a Ponzi miner, right? We know this, right? But name me one other Ponzi miner where the uh, developer behind it has actually taken his own interest from his own, his own personal funds, right? And he's used that to add to the TVL. I don't think it's, it exists. Mirror LP, community driven, community managed, and propped up by myself. That's right. We also have the charity wallet. We have the drip wallet. So the airdrops are going to continue. Mega airdrop this Monday. 300 drip being sent down to drip team three. We are almost ready for our next drip buy. Here's the treasury wallet. We have $836 in here. When we get up to $1,000, I'll be buying another $1,000 worth of drip. Combining it with the other drip in here, we have 103 drip here. So we're going to be looking around about 300 drip that we're going to be sending down to the team, team three on Monday. Or yeah, Monday, Monday, that's right. So it's fantastic too. So now you're thinking, Richie, where is this mirror liquidity? Where would you put it, right? So I was playing around with the idea, where could I put this mirror liquidity? Should I just stake it in drip, right? But that's then taking my funds, where, you know, I'm already in drip. You know, I have a large account here. We're almost max 24,000 drip here. But then I'd be selling drip into BUSD to then put into the miner to then buy drip. It just seems completely counterproductive, right? So that's not... Uh, that wasn't one that I went for. I didn't want to lock the funds in. I wanted to stake them so that at any point, because it is my money, the mirror LP is my cash, right? But I'm giving the interest to the, the project, essentially, right? Um, I'm an angel investor. <laughs> so 
the one I chose uh, above all for security, for high yield, and for just because it's one of my favorite projects anyway. Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's Tomb Finance. So first one I went to was Tomb Finance, and I've already set up this one with my mirror pool. And this is the first one. I'm going to have a total of three mirror pools set up for the MAM. The first one already done. We can come into Tomb Finance. They have, it's on the Phantom blockchain. Fantastic. We come into Life Genesis Q4. And I'll switch over to the right wallet for this, where I'm doing it. It's a completely different wallet to the one any that I do any kind of contracting or anything with the MAM. Has to be separate. Uh, we have 99 days left on this pool. Okay, so from the NFT sales, I have $3,254 of ETH in here at 15% APR. And come down here, I have some Bitcoin in here. I've put in $29,600 in here at 5.65 APR for also for it. so all of the rewards here i will be compounding about 30 to 20 percent of them back into the pool to earn to, because as more uh, capital comes into these pools the apr will go down or the price goes up or down of the, the reward token right can't just be sell farming and dumping that's not the right way either so about 80 percent will be taken out of here and put back into the MAM every week. So that's coming from my Bitcoin, from my ETH. My second plan is I will be coming to the next phase, which will be also on, this will be life.com on Tomb Chain. I'll be coming to the nursery. Let me switch to Tomb Chain. And the same idea here. So we have even better yield here, actually. So we have 26% on Bitcoin. We have 26% on ETH. So I'll be sending more Bitcoin here and more ETH here. The reason I'm, I'm you know, diversifying portfolios is because it should be getting yield from lots of different places because I don't want, just want to be affected by any kind of upturn or downturn in any kind of system. That's why the third place I'll be going to will be on the Binance Smart Chain where I will be setting up with... Go ahead, guess it. What is it going to be? It's not PancakeSwap. The yield is too bad. It's low yield on PancakeSwap, man. You need to be looking around for better, more um, innovative and newer protocols. Higher risk, but again, it's my funds, doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm a DGEN, right? And I'll be coming to Grizzly Finance, right? Because on Grizzly Finance, I will be setting up a pool of this one here with uh, BNB and BUSD, BNB and BUSD, and we'll be getting here 101% APY on this paid out in Grizzly token, which I'll be selling and then again putting back into the MAM. So you will see by the end of this week, I will set this up. I will make a uh, formal announcement, probably in a, a specific video and a medium post and, you know, Twitter post and everything so that you can find out exactly where I put my position for the Mirror LP. So uh, great news. I'm really happy. I'm hoping that I can bring in at least uh, $500 to $1,000 of BUSD, which I can drop into the balance of the Mischief Miner every single week to keep it running, keep paying, and we can all have our community passive income printer. Because the reason, main reason, I, c I have the funds, why the fuck not? <laughs> People say, Richie, why are you doing this? Are you crazy? Why the fuck not, right? Why the fuck not? So that's uh, the MAM. Uh, get into it, link in the description, check it out. BUSD in, BUSD out, two different games. And we do have the mega airdrop coming on Monday to Drip Team 3. Awesomeness, awesomeness. Yeah, so, okay, let's come into what were the main focus of today's video, which would be for the Drip and the Animal Farm uh, new website. So, of course, Drip, did the Animal Farm release have any effect on the price of Drip? No, we're still $7, but that is fantastic, really, because if people are buying Drip right now, that means that they're getting that return on their investment because it's basically, basically a stable coin at this point. Just staying at that $7 price, fantastic stuff. Uh, faucet for me, you know, it's morning, I have 100 drip. What, what am I gonna do with it? We're gonna build it up and we're gonna airdrop again. On Sunday, we drip airdrop from team one. We're almost done here though. 27,000 is coming very soon, a couple of weeks, so it's exciting. But definitely, if you didn't watch my video I made this week about why drip will be hitting $50 quite soon, then you should check that out because you, then you can be ahead of the Head of the, the pack there, right? Because Drip will be hitting $50 very soon with what's going on with the Animal Farm. Now let's check it all out. Here we go. So if we go to animalfarm.app, the site is now yellow. It used to be black. I'm happy about that. Brighter, happier, more positive. There's a, uh, an interview here. It's, it's a bit of a, a strange interview because it's as though they weren't in the same room at the same time, it feels. Um, but it is Forex dropping that alpha. He's explaining everything that he's explained in every single AMA for the past three months, four months, five months about what the animal farm is going to be and how it is. And now everyone can watch this one on YouTube. You can also get to uh, three other uh, articles, 
videos about the, how to get set up on the animal farm if you're not sure about that how to just begin from even getting a metamask right on the animal farm youtube channel which we can check out right here so i suggest you get there you subscribe to the animal farm youtube channel because if uh, forex is smart then he will be doing his amas from here in the future also so that people can have a centralized place to find him when he wants to talk right um and, you know, great comments. Everyone's really behind the community, of course, because Drip and Animal Farm has one of the biggest communities in crypto, right? It's fantastic. Unbelievable community. I'm so happy to be part of it. So the site's looking good, right? We, here we have some testimonials and what the investors say about Drip uh, and Animal Farm. Um, my investments in Forex Sharks project have outperformed over 1,000 other projects I've invested in. What the fuck is this ridiculous DJ? <laughs> 1,000 projects. But he's right. You know, you come to my the DJ farmer spreadsheet and, you know, we have all these projects, right? What do we got? Uh, Tomb done well, but not so well recently. Dex doing well, but not so well recently, right? Uh, Furio doing eh, half my funds in the space of a blink of an eye, right? Uh, Horde doing well, but nothing near like uh, Drip, you know? Drip is just here. It's half of my DJ, my DeFi portfolio is Drip and Drip ecosystem. Um, so many projects that I follow fall off the wayside and just disappear forever. Drip is the only one that just continues to print. It's unbelievable, right? So that's cool. And they also have uh, their auditors, auditors uh, Paladin here, and some partners where we can check out the it just looks more professional right this is just a standard front end page that every single DeFi protocol has that um, animal farm never did right so it just looks a lot better than it was before now the farm itself is of course confusing as fuck right we know this right so it's good that they oh here is the five thousand dollar giveaway competition as well you can enter into this on gleam and then follow these links and things to to be able to get into that so i'll, I'll do that later possibly um but we all know the farm is confusing as fuck, right? Pigs up to $102, great, good to see. Um, farm's confusing, we all know this, right? It's really confusing, so they've tried to make it as simple as possible, even though it's still kind of confusing. So we have the pig pen, the dog pound, the piggy bank are highlighted here. They also have, of course, the best thing around is the drip garden. I don't know why they didn't get an illustration for drip garden, because it's, it's the best one, right? Let's connect the wallet. You know, this is one that pays, this is pumping. 511,000 uh, LP tokens in here now, just continues to go up. This is gonna hit a million. I think it's gonna double in TVL. We're gonna be, oh, it's gonna be ridiculous, right? Uh, what have I got? Uh, nice, yeah, looks better. I like this. This is my second favorite uh, drip garden now. Um, I like the butterfly one the best, but this is great too. I just went out to the shops. I came back, I've got $100, fantastic. <laughs> and I'm ready, right? 3,000 LP, I need 10,000. We're building, we're building them, right? Um, but this looks fantastic, nice explanation it's all the same wordage for this um and if you want to get into the drip garden you have to uh, deposit uh liquidity tokens which you can get here from the drip liberation contract but this will bring you to the old site don't worry about that but looking at other things like so we have the pig pen much easier to understand right you see here my deposited pigs i have 130 pigs if i want to put more in i could the reward center it shows me how much busd or pigs i can take out and then I can withdraw my stake pigs. So if I want to, I can withdraw 2% a day. Yeah, I just press here, reward, withdraw pigs. And I could take out seven pigs if I wanted to, right? But why would I do that? No point, right? Very simple, claim my rewards here or uh, compound here. Uh, but I think both, possibly both will do the same thing or maybe it's two transactions now, but simple, right? Buy pigs put the pigs in here and earn the BUSD from the farm, from the TVL, right? Because on from the front, right, this TVL here and the deposit fees will uh, pay out to the pig pen and of course to the dog pound. This is the dog pound, we're not using it yet, but we have two options to either auto compound our dogs or just single stake our dogs in here. Great, stake your dogs. Uh, BNB pound is the Animal Farm's loyalty reward system stake dogs to reduce your tax and earn a BNB dividend which is generated from taxes. Auto dog pound puts your earn BNB to work by pairing it with AFD uh, dogs and staking it on behalf. So you're going to uh, essentially we talked about this before you're going to be if you put your dogs into the auto combiner it's going to make you liquidity as a reward. If you put your dogs into the simple one it's going to give you BNB as a reward. That's how we're working there, showing you how many dogs are burned, the circulating supply, the market cap, all great, good metrics here. Uh, claim your pigs out from the auto compounding pool. You're also earning pigs from, oh, because you're BNB and dogs are earning pigs, okay? So it's good, all centralized here. Then we have the piggy bank, of course. Hopefully this will get a bit of a pump. 
um, in the future. With all my stakes here, uh, referrals are still an absolute mess. Look at this, absolute mess. <laughs> so that, that's too bad. They could have cleaned that up a bit. Um, the yeah, and just have the stakes here for your um, different piglet stakes and things. But the the payout from the the piggy bank has been more than disappointing, to be honest. Uh, I'm well in the hole with this, uh, for sure. <laughs> I should have just moved it all into the pig pen. Uh, hindsight. It's a fantastic thing. The three million dollars locked in the piggy bank right now. Hopefully it will grow now that the animal farm's coming out, right? Dog pound. We looked at farms, so we have the farm section. How are we looking? Oh, not bad. Do we have list view? No, no, no. Personal earnings. Expected earnings. Nice. No list view. Okay. It's a little bit cumbersome. Do we have like few only my my ones? No. Okay, so hopefully they put a list view into this, so it's not going to be like, if I come all the way down here, you know, I don't want to have to farm, don't have to come down here every day to, to find it. Copy referral link, cool, referral link, nice. So the referral system will be running very soon. Uh, then we have pools also, single assets, stake, stake your dogs, stake your ETH, stake your cake. Okay, very, um, only BUSD stablecoin here. I just want to check actually the other pools. Ba, 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 farms. How many stable coin pairs do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, a load of stable coin pairs. Okay, good. Good, good. So they did that. And soon, hopefully, we will also have the, the community vote, which never came to the last one. Hopefully, we get it soon. Then uh, add in liquidity. If you want to add liquidity, you can do it on site now, but only with pigs. All the other ones you're going to want to do on pancake swap. But also we can swap here our BUSD into pigs or pigs into BUSD. So a simple dex for a simple thing. Of course, then drip garden too. Um, last thing, um, coming down to the white paper and docs. What does it bring us to? Because I know there's so many different ones. Uh, good, it brings us to the GitHub where we can find uh, a lot of different details from here. Cool. Great, looking good. So go check this out yourself um, and enjoy the site. And let's wait for October 18th when this does finally launch. Finally. All right, so this is great news from, from Derp. I think we're really going to have a, a nice little bump up and a pump going a bit further into the future now. Um, let me just show you one thing. And to reward you for staying so long into this video, I'm just going to show you a new project I did invest one BNB into, which is called Frost Flakes, uh, high risk, high reward, 2% fixed daily mining protocol, um, which is trying to say that it's, it's using something similar to my Mirror LP, but it's coming from the actual TVL, I believe, of the project that they're um, trying to use it to rehypothecate the the chart but as you can see it's had since the 4th of august when it launched it's had a completely upward trajectory um, it's looking like it's starting to taper though so it might be high risk high reward right now um, but i went in just two days ago and so far it's doing pretty well uh, this uh, team is uh, quite friendly with george from george stamp who you know runs the auditing service too so they look like um, behind the scenes they're also good guys so this is a project that I've just joined and I'll probably do a video on it later in the future if it does pay out. But just thought I'd let you know for watching. Last thing I want to talk about is Furio, right? So Furio, uh, in terms of Furio being Furio, it's going well for me in a sense because I now have 6,000 fur locked in there, which means if I wanted to, I could take out about $550 a day, right? Problem with Furio that I really didn't appreciate, you know, the, the things, the good things, you know, I'm going to make a dedicated video on this too. I just thought I'd give you a heads up that I am going to do it. We know we have 239 in the team. We were given uh, a load of Furio. We have a 253, which was given by the team to, to me because we've, we've onboarded so many people. I'll be sending that all down to the team in Monday's airdrop, on Monday's airdrop, which is for everyone with 100 or more uh, Furio staked in your fur vaults, you'll get a portion of the 253 plus the normal airdrop that goes up with it anyway, right? So it'll be about 350 Fury on the airdropping. Um, that's all good, right? The problem is that if you go to first swap, we see the price is $5.48 now for Furio, which it did pike, spike to about $10 when they released the fur pool, which was their liquidity incentive program where you would pair up your fur with USDC, deposit it in, and then earn a high APR that they said was 100% or 50% APR. 
and it was going very well. I was earning, as you can see, I've made $43, but then they turned on the LMS. By turning on the LMS, um, this happened. Yeah, this was what happened. So when the LMS was turned on, there was a sell volume of uh, like $200,000 or something like that. And then a buy of another like $100,000, total like $300,000, something crazy, like hundreds of thousand dollars, which when they turned it on, the price dumped from the eight, nine dollars down to five dollars. Uh, meaning that the main thing for me was I did have a stake in here originally of, I tracked it, track everything with the DGM Farmer spreadsheet, put a thousand dollars into fur pool and I lost $200. Boom, overnight, bang. So now my, my, my fur pool is worth 863, but actually I had uh, compounded $56. So 1056 down to 863. So I lost yet yeah, $200 of that immediately, right? And they, they, they didn't have to do it this way. This is for me is a bit of a um, oversight of them not planning this out properly. Should, surely they should have turned the LMS on first and then opened the fur pool, right? Makes more sense, no? They say, okay, the LMS is on. Now the fur pool is released so that no one gets wrecked 20, 30, 40% from their, <laughs> their stake to help you provide liquidity to build up the backbone of the project, right? We're being good uh, contrib contributors here. Um, and, but instead you actually punished us for being uh, early adopters into your fur pool. So I, I really didn't appreciate that. And of course they have a, a loop duration lock, which I went the longest lock because I was trying to be faithful to the project. And in, in the end, you ended up punishing me for being early into this when I could have just waited until today, put the price in now, and then actually be in a better position financially. Now that pisses me off. And the other thing that pisses me off about what happened is that there is a tax on the fur token when it's bought and sold. And 1% goes to the marketing and development wallet, which means that when this huge sell and huge buy of fur, fur token happened, Buy and sell, 1% goes into marketing and development, right? Which is uh, DGen talk for the developer's wallet, right? The development team's wallet where they can spend that, right? Um, as they wish on marketing, development, or on themselves. And that also uh, pisses me off because the way I see it, right? That is, you knew that you were going to do this, that the fur pool, you knew what you were going to set the LMS at, you were going to set it at lower than the price of the fur token at the moment. Then you open the fur pool, advertise high APRs, yeah, <laughs> entice people into it with high APR, and then wreck them, right? And then you profited from doing it. Uh, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is how I see it. Of course, I'm locked in here. Uh, I do have a team. I have a responsibility as a community leader to continue to airdrop to my schedule. And of course, if I do sell out my balance that I've built here, then I am going to get punished in the way that my reward rate will drop. But my my plan is to use the uh, you know the platform as is. But I just thought I'd be extremely clear on my disagreements with how this was run because that is not a fully community run project T taking into account the early adopting investors which are supposed to be the most precious ones for you because without early adopter investors who are going to be backing you up supporting you and deciding that you're making the right decisions and telling you know their audience like I'm doing right now that they made the right decisions you have people like me actually saying no you did not make the right decision so and absolutely no uh, no explanation of why they did this right Okay, so that is today's uh, shitcoins of the week. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's finish today with Drip Roulette for the Drip team. We have 50 Drip to give away, so let's do that. Oh, last thing. I did make a video, my first ever walk and talk video, and I did tell every single one of you who watch this channel that you should not buy Furio until the LMS is turned on because the price might go down. So it's not that I wasn't expecting that to happen. I didn't buy the token, right? Uh, I invested in the fur pool, though, because I thought I was going to be rewarded. But I wasn't. I was punished. <laughs> uh, considering Drip Roulette, we actually are the same number of depositors as we've been for about two or three months now. Uh, so I want to shake it up a bit. Um, so I'm going to be making changes. I'm not sure what. I might change it out of the roulette system into a straight up airdrop system. Or I might actually increase the deposited amount needed. Or I might just, I don't know. 
If you are in it and you're, you've watched to the end of this video, then please let me know what your suggestion would be to change up Drip Team 2 Drip Roulette. What do you think about it? Um, because we do have some big players in here and we haven't had any, any new onboarding for quite a while. Uh, so I think we need to change it up. So let me know. All right, so we have 295 uh, eligible, down again from last time, and because people are claiming, I guess, and we're 10 minimum to be able for the reward. The first reward is for five drip. Spin it. Yeah! Nope. Drop the mic. 208. All right, we're 26 drip, congratulations. Won yourself five drip. Next up, we will have someone for 10 drip. Why the hell not? 10 drip, remove, spin. <laughs> 20, all the way up to 20. Do we have, yeah, 291 drip, big boy. You win yourself 10 drip. Next, let's do Eight drip, why not? <laughs> totally random today. However I'm feeling, hopefully the math sets up. Okay, remove that and spin it. Haven't been in this chair in so long. <laughs> 150. Down to 150, we have uh, 26 drip. Well done, you've won yourself eight drip. Next up, let's do 10 drip. Yeah, 10 drip, coming up. We have two more to come. Move that, spin it. One, five, six. Du -du -du. 257 drip, yep, there you go. Okay, that's 33. So that means the winner of today's uh, drip roulette is gonna get themselves 17 drip. All right. Who's it gonna be 17 drip drips? Go, spin it, let's go this way. Forty-one. Up to 41. Da, 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 da. Two, six, seven drip staked. There you are. Well done. You've won yourself 267. Ooh, that's the DGen Farmer spreadsheet. V2 have just popped into. Uh oh. Boom. Okay, there you are. Uh, you will find that in your wallet by the time that this video goes live after I've edited it down because it's probably going to be too long. <laughs> okay, Mr. Miner, we had. Animal Farm, new UI, we had like little pissed offness with Furio, you know, I'm still in it, you know, I'm still gonna airdrop and stuff, I just didn't like the way that went down. Hopefully it's not a sign for the future, right? Be aware of these things, right? Watch out for these things, right? Developers make a lot of money. As I've found out and I've showed you, right, there's different ways to do these things, you don't have to do it the way that um, some others do, right? Peace. Don't get wrecked.